Let me take her to the ER. Colleen, no. please, come here. No. You'll be more comfortable. No, I want to see the doctor who treated me before. Sit I trust down. her. Dr. Lambert. Eve. She said I could call her Eve. Dr. Lambert isn't here anymore. Dr. Thornhart is Dr. Lambert's husband. He's a wonderful doctor. She talked about you, how kind you are. Yeah. Let me help you, okay? Um, what happened? Who did this to you? No one. I fell. Honey, oh, thank God you're okay. I got your message that you hurt yourself. I rushed right over. Are you her husband? I should have fixed the hand railing on those stairs. Uh, Let me uh, find a room for you. Colleen. Yeah. Keep an eye on my patient, please, would you? Of course. That bastard's lying through his teeth. He beat her and she's scared to death of him. I know. I came over here to call the police. She's not going to press charges. You heard her. She says she fell. If Eve treated her before, there'd be a record of it. But without her testimony, I don't know. It's worth a try. Call the police. I'll tell you everything that's happened to happen out here. Yeah, that's because it's all lies. Please, Dad. I'll be right back. I know this is all so confusing. Honey, it's honey, just... honey, slow down. Take a deep breath. You're back. And you're safe. No one's ever been there for me. Oh, honey, dead. honey, I'm always going to oh. be there for you. No matter what. Oh. All right. Calm down. And tell me everything. Rafe. Rafe and I just fell in love. Dad, we couldn't fight it. We didn't want to hurt anyone, not, not Jack or Allison. I can't believe this is happening, Lucy. Rafe has come back and he's lost all of his memory, and Livy is filling it with complete lies. Okay, I know. Listen, how. How did Rafe get back, and how did Livy end up with him? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know how he got back here. I don't know why he's here. I don't know how long that she has been with him. But she's told him some crazy story that they've been in love for, for a little, really long time, and, and he left me for her, and that I can't accept it. I don't know what she's doing. I don't. A little... Okay, Austin, listen to me. Rafe loves you very, very much, and so I know somewhere deep down inside he, he will remember that feeling. Yeah, I think so, too, because I swear I saw it in his eyes, Lucy, when he first walked through the door. Okay, there, see? It's just like he's not all there or something. He looks very lost and confused. Then we'll just have to unconfuse him, won't we? Yeah. I know he wants to know the truth, but I don't know whose truth he's going to believe. We knew right away, and we both tried to fight it, but when you find the kind of love we have, it just feels so right. And now that you're back with me, it's all going to be okay. We knew right away. We have to know. And we both tried to fight us that we really love each other. The kind of love we have. Now that you're back with just me. Just feel so right. It's all gonna be okay. <laughs> so is there any chance that you're hungry? I am starving. I am so hungry. <laughs> you want me to order us a pizza? Oh, well, that sounds okay, good. Okay, all right. What do you want on it? Um, lots of cheese. <laughs> oh, cheese, yeah. cheese. Cheese sounds real good right uh, now. Sorry. Oh, no, I, no. I, I'm just a little clumsy when I'm half naked. <laughs> it's, 
It's, it's no big deal. I just wanted to see a videotape of your show. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't know that was in there. Hey, it's okay. I know you were in love with Casey, Ricky. I, I just wish I, I could have known her. I heard she's quite a girl. Yeah, she was. Anyway, um, where was I? Ordering pizza. Pizza, yes. right. Jeez, right? Here, you know what? I'll do it. All right. Look, it's, it's some scrapes and bruises. I mean, is this really necessary? Couldn't I just take care of her at home? Your wife needs hospital care. She's going to be with us for a while. All right, whatever you say, Doc. Thank you, Colleen. We'll let you know when she gets settled, OK? Dr. Alafetich to the pharmacy. Dr. Matt Alafetich to the pharmacy. Police are on their way. Good. But she's going to deny that he hit her, and he'll walk. They'll never get a conviction. There's got to be some way. Kill that bitch when she gets out of here. What the hell? Lucy, I have Rafe back now, but he feels farther away now, more than ever. I know. Listen, the reason you're you're back, the reason you're okay, is because of Rafe. He saved you, so he may he may not realize that in his head yet, but somewhere deep in his heart, he does. Come on, Livy can't fight that. She can't. I believe that I really do, but she's got this thing, so turned upside down, and you know her, you know. What a good liar she is. She could make the devil feel sorry for her. Yeah, but uh, that has a way to catch up to you, doesn't it? In fact, it might be catching up to her right now. Lies never work. I have all people. I know that. So come on. You just have to trust Rafe. I do. I really do. But he's such a good, caring person. You know, I just hate to see what she's doing to him. I know. I do, too. I can see it in her eyes. She's going to try and do every single thing that she can in order to turn him against me. I have to stop her, Lucy, because I will not let Rafe get lost in all this. We didn't set out to hurt anyone, Dad, but we couldn't fight how much we love each other. It's like how you and Lucy were married to other people, and then you fell back in love. You followed your hearts, and that's all we did. And Rafe doesn't remember everything, but he still remembers us, and more and more every day. And I love him, and he loves me more than ever, and that's why we got married. Please, then you have to believe me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, sorry. I, uh, hey, I don't mean to interrupt, but I really need to get home to Christina. Oh, uh, right. Honey, why don't, why don't you come home with us? I, I think we should talk some more. I would love to, but I, I think my husband needs me right now. But I'm really grateful you're back. And I love you. I love you, so too. So much. What a night. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, listen, um, I, need, I need to tell you something um, else. Uh, look, it's about how your daughter became Mrs. Ravkovich. <sighs> I need to get to Rafe. I need to talk to him. I'm really glad I found you. I can't, I can't believe it. My, my brother is alive and, and he invited us to come over and I told him that we were just going to go home. I'm and not going to go anywhere until you start telling me some stories that make sense because that Allison I just met is not the Allison I met at the cabin. And she's not a killer either. So I'd like to know what else you're telling me that's not true. Is everything, including us, just one huge lie? 